Hello, Frugivores. This is Captain Frugal reporting for duty. And today, wow, you know, I just got into this on my Twitter here. And I'm, I'm not big into Twitter beefs and things like that. But when I saw this, I can't help but to comment on it. So anyway, I got this here, this tweet from IFLC. Uh, what, you know, okay, here we go. Well, if we got this thing here, you can make judge of it what you want. But there's an interview. The crossover king himself, Ron Mars, does not mince words when it comes to comic state. He is weighing in on the dy dynamite variant cover debacle. For the full interview, you can go to his channel there. And if, by all means, but this clip was shared. So I watch this clip and I want to, I'm going to snipe it and talk about it. Uh, for, for yes, just for, so you know, up, up front i am not a fan of ron mars i think his work has been subpar and i think he's a dick bag when he comes to social media and how he interacts with people and he's uh has a little bit too high of thought of himself we'll put it that way so let's hear what we got here uh vampirella um with one of his one of his characters uh knowing your relationship with uh with dynamite um would you like to comment all right, so here we go. He's going to yeah, give his comment, which is irrelevant. He has nothing to do with this, but of course, he has to comment, which question, why does this matter to him so much? Think about this. Why does this matter to Ron Mars? So let's hear. That guy Cecil. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you notice that. Wait a minute. Let's, let's go back a little bit. Let's hear what he says there. Part, uh, kids, close your ears here. Yeah, fuck that guy Cecil. Yeah. Okay, bravo. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying Cecil's perfect either, okay? You judge Cecil on your own accord. But remember, this guy is supposedly a professional comic book writer, and this is how he's behaving in an interview. Keep that in mind. Is that professionalism? Hmm. <laughs> I, uh, look, I'm disappointed in Dynamite. Um, I, I, uh, I have done work for them in the past. Um, Notice he has done work from the past. He isn't doing anything currently because he's irrelevant and he's washed up. His books don't sell for crap. Matter of fact, maybe I'll check a little, show you a little later. He's getting massively outsold by Cecil. So it's probably why uh, on the crowdfunding book, why he's so butthurt is because he's got a name for himself and this relatively unknown guy is whooping him in sales. Once again, you judge Cecil on your own and his books on your own merit. But my point is this in his behavior and his butthurt meter. You're judged by the company you keep, and uh, look, sometimes, sometimes honest mistakes get made, and you don't know who you're dealing with in terms of, of you know, letting a guy do a cover, or, you know, hiring somebody to do some work for you. Okay, notice that you are judged by the company you keep. So once again, he's one of those people that judge everybody based on some people in a group. He's that kind of person. He doesn't look into anything. He doesn't judge and look into a person and have any merit into his involvement with them. For example, how many times have you assumed something about somebody to meet them and only find out a lot different? Now, I'm not saying that's this case for sure, but this is the kind of person Ron Mars is. Remember, you're judged by the company you keep. Well, look at the kind of company Ron Mars keeps. And check him out. Seriously, look at the people he's friended and he follows and he retweets. Tons of Marxist rhetoric, tons of rude comments to things. He doesn't know how to treat a customer, just like his buddy uh, Dan Slott. He's that kind of person. Remember, Ryan Mars, you're judged by the company you keep. Hmm. Um, I, I guess um, I guess disappointment is, is my chief reaction right now. Uh, we'll see disappointment that Cecil got a cover and he didn't you know a no cover drawn of him because he's butt hurt because he wasn't a pictured on the cover I guess uh, we'll see if this kind of thing happens again I mean I, I did see the, the the page of from that guy Cecil's book now I want to point out here we'll see if that happens again I hope you caught that because that's very important he got canceled we canceled Cecil we'll see if dynamite makes this mistake again Hmm, I wonder about the Whisper Network's going behind the scenes right now about Dynamite. Oh, Dynamite, you better not use any of these people. This is your approved list of content creators. If you go off of this script, we are going to do everything to shut you down. That's a warning to Dynamite. Now, this guy's a loser and doesn't really have any much pull anymore, but I'm sure there's some Whisper Networks behind that he's going to try to influence on that to shut anything down that he doesn't agree with because that's the Rod Mars way. Rod Mars has been noticed. I've seen him many times. I've read articles and seen things firsthand myself where he jumps to conclusions without any facts, any information, and makes a complete fool of himself. And then if you go at him and say, hey, well, what do you think about this? Well, why don't we wait to the facts? He, he's in trouble with that. He can't handle it because he's already got preconceived notions about everything. 
But that is very important, though. We'll see if Dynamite does it again. That should be noted. That's why you don't bend the knee. You do what your business thinks is right, and you do it, and you... You know, you base your customers, you understand what your customers' needs are. You can't knee-jerk reaction to a small group that getting offended over something this silly. Um, who I think I've, I've had blocked for a long time now. So I, like, I was blissfully unaware of any of this stuff. No, wait a minute here. Notice this. He's blocked him like he blocks tons of people because anybody that disagrees with the King Ron Mars in his mind, he blocks. But yet, after blocking this guy, he knows all about this guy. So he blocks and stalks. Good job. That's that's him, and he's he's very much well, remember just like the the company he keeps, like Dan Slat, which loves to talk behind people's backs and block them too. Good job, bravo, bravo, Mars. Like if I blocked or muted you, you just don't exist to me. Um, that's right. Now wait a minute, you don't exist to him, but he will stalk you. He just freaking shows how much of a hypocrite he is. Uh, um, you know, cultivate your own garden. Now watch. Um, but I did I did see some of the material that um, uh, apparently is his is his work and it was just some pretty wretched stuff so now i'm not judging cecil's work here that's for you to decide but notice my point is this he blocked him he doesn't exist but yet he's seen his work i'm calling bull crap here i'm sorry but how, how did he see his work unless there's some kind of network then if he's blocked to be sharing his work with him there's lots of holes in this story so once again hmm, whisper networks right don't you dare print anything dynamite that goes against what our feelings are. But I, there, I don't know anything about these people, but oh, but I've heard this. I've seen this. Mm, either you've seen it or you didn't, Mars. What is it? You're lying one way or another. It's bad. Yeah. If, it's if he's bad. terrible. Look, if they want to, you know, look, if they want to do their, you know, circle jerk of selling each other lousy comics, great. I don't care. He doesn't care, he says, but yet he does. That's why he's so butthurt, because he's so outsold in his circle jerk crew of trying to sell comics. That's what he's done. He's sealed off so many people by blocking everybody because he he doesn't agree with them. And then he talk, talks crappy to people and wonders why he doesn't have any sales. But yet he turns around and says the same thing. Boy, this guy he better not be throwing stones because he sure is in a glass house. Um, sure. It's... Uh, yeah, it's not my it's you know whatever they do in terms of of making comics is you know, none of my concern wait now notice that it's none of his concern but we'll see what dynamite does next if they do this again it's none of your concern lied again clearly he's concerned dynamite you better step in line oh i, I have no, no concern about this this guy's trying to have his cake and eat it too once again showing he is a real bottom feeder here um when they start being assholes to people and continuing to just um you know be problem children that's mm -hmm. when it's our problem and uh if you engage with that and if you're adjacent to that i really just don't have any use for you now i understand not wanting some people to be mean and rude and i absolutely agree with that okay fine but um once again pot calling kettle black i i mean Rod Mars is so burned on this. He's notorious for crap tweets, starting garbage, blocking people, block, you know, constantly and cannot respond any way in kind. But yet he acts like, that. oh, I'm virtuous. I'm blocking these people. How much of that crap did he actually start himself? Because I've seen it time and time again. I don't see it anymore because I am blocked by Rod Mars, which well, you can take that as bias all you want. I don't personally care that I'm blocked by Rod Mars. I don't like his work and I don't like him as a person. He was mad that I called him out for actions that he did. So just like this here. That's right. It's, it's not that hard being a decent human being. Human no one said it's not that hard being a decent human being well evidently ron mars needs lessons in it because he hasn't been a decent human being and he showed it time but you don't believe me check for yourself read his tweets and things you make that decision yourself by all means i recommend that you do don't just take my word for it i'm trying to spotlight us i want you to see it and see for yourself and being and um if you can't do that uh, i just don't want you in my sphere but yet he'll sit there and talk about you behind your back and, and and you know but yet he's seen your stuff so he's so much bull crap here it's just absolutely amazing how silly it is um you know what i'm gonna go on to this tweet real quick before i end this video because there's there's a lot of responses to this i made some myself um i don't want to show everything here there but there was one particular if i can okay i want to show you this okay here we go look cash grab the novel by cecil look what we got here how many backers we got there okay 
Okay, fair enough. Look at that. That's more than what he than what Ron Mars has been getting. And so here we have Ron Mars. Look, the the money is much less. The backers. Look at the backer numbers. Okay, it's just from these people. It, it's it's amazing how butthurt he is. But that's that's the Ron Mars way. So once again, don't take my word for it. You check it out yourself. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I know this one's a little short, sweet, to hopefully to the point. Um, but I just want to shine light. I, you know, I, I love it when I see the massive hypocrisy of these people. Oh, you need to treat people good. But he turns around and acts like a scumbag himself. Oh, I, I, there he's dead to me. I don't have pay any attention to him. But yet I've read his stuff. And look at it. It's just absolutely ridiculous. This is what you can expect. And I would you know, from guys like him that are washed up. It, it's a real shame. Matter of fact, this is the guy that, you know, that is funny as much as he touts the SJW line, he's the one that brought us Gail Simone because of women in refrigerators because he had his uh, Kyle Reiner's girlfriend chopped up and put a refrigerator, which actually, right, I have no problem with, just for the record. Uh, you know, it was supposed to be a shocking, astounding. I haven't read the book, so I, well, I read a few of them. I didn't care for his Kyle Reiner run, I, which might be, you know, sacrilege to some and he's not my favorite Green Lantern by far and I didn't care for the writing in that part I didn't particularly like either but I didn't have anything against it because you know you set up a character and you know you want to sometimes have bad things happen to them have them go from that but that stemmed the whole you know Gail Simone women refrigerator thing so thanks so much for giving us that Ron Mars that's about the only thing you've contributed to comic books Ugh. all right well thank you for watching until next time keep rolling.